I hope you have remembered all Russian vowels and you know now everything you need to know about them. Hi, I'm Svetlana from lmastery.com and in today's video we are going to learn consonants. There are 21 consonants in Russian alphabet. I would like to make this video not too long, I don't want to take too much of your time and I know it's hard when it's too long and too much information, so I will do my best to do this video not that long but at the same time uh, to do it as much effective as I can. So let's meet the consonants of Russian alphabet, actually we met them before, we have imagination how they look like, maybe we haven't uh, remembered all of them, but memorized all of them. But now we are going to to do it, and we are going to learn also some rules of pronunciation of Russian consonants. So, what do you need to know about Russian consonants? So, first of all, they can be voiced and voiceless, hard and soft. So let's start with voiced and voiceless. Uh, I will write you consonants like in pairs and one of them in this pair will be voiced and the other one voiceless. So let's start with the letter B, sound B. So I will say B, B. And this is the cursing, sound B. B, and we like turn off the voice and we have P, B, P. So here is P. You can see the printed and the cursive. I hope you will need both of them and you will try to memorize also cursive and you will write them. So, B, P. Examples of word. Bank and punk. B, P. Bank, punk. Okay, the next consonant will be V, letter V, V, sound V, so the next is V, V, sound V, and the pair is F, sound F, V, F. Examples. Vrag. Vrag. Frag. V. F. Vrag. Frag. It doesn't matter now what the words mean. I will translate you some of them. But you don't need all. Now we concentrate on reading. This is the most important part to memorize the letters, to pronounce them correct. So here we had V, F. The first pair was B, P, V, F. And now it will be G, G. This is how it looks in cursive. Sound G. The pair is K. K. Sound K. G. K. Examples of words. Who can read this? Try to read. We have G. K. And I will put the stress. Golas. We don't have stress here, do you remember? We pronounce it like A. Golas, colas, g, k, golas, colas, g, k. Next pair is d, d, sound d, and t. Sound t, d, t. 
Let's have a look for examples. Can you read this? This is L. Oh, sorry. Dolg. Dolg. The next word. Tolk. We have here even two pairs. D, T, G, K. Dolg. Tolk. Dolg. Tolk. Next letters are Z. This letter Z. Z. Sound Z. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit hard to fit everything here. Sound Z. 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 The words Zhuk and the next try to read this Shok Z Sh Zhuk Shok Next two consonants next pair Z looks like three Z, sound Z, and it's pair S. It look the same in cursing. S, Z, S. Try to read these letters. This word, sorry. Zvuk, svet. Z, S. Zvuk, svet. So, these consonants had pairs, so voiced and voiceless. Other consonants, I'm going to write you, they don't have their voiceless or voiced pairs, but still we have to repeat them. So, letter L, L sound L, L, L. Sound L. I will write a word and you will try to read it. Limon, Limon, L, Limon. So actually, uh, this letter is voiced, but it doesn't have unvoiced, voiceless pair. Next letter, M sound M, M, Mama, M, which means we, Mama, M. Next letter, we will meet next one, it's N, N, sound N. Sound N. Nos. Nos. So we had L, M, N. One more. The next one. R. Sound R. A bit more hard than in English. R. Rock. Roka hand. I'm sure you know what is rock. Rock. Roka. We have one more unpaired voiced consonant, which is ikratki, the name of it. Ikratki. This is y. Y. Sound y. Y. Like in word yes in English. Y. Y. So, not too many words we use with this letter at the beginning. Uh, you all know what is yoga. Yoga. Usually we have yo, you know, yo is double dot. But in this word, you need just to memorize them. Yoga. 
yogurt, yoga, sorry, I wrote in cursive, yoga, yogurt, yoga, yogurt, yod. So, so these consonants, L, M, N, R, I kratki, these consonants are unpaired voiced consonants. And we have some unpaired voiceless. So these consonants are, uh, so one of them is, do you remember what consonant it is? This is T, 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 T. For example, word, Tsk, 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 Tsk. Good, Tsk. Next one. Ch, Ch. For example, word. Can you read this? Check. Yes. Check. Ch. Check. And one more. Sh. 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 Actually, I can write this is like sh and ch together. Sh. Sh and ch together. Sh. 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 Oh yeah, and one more last, sorry, I forgot about one more, which is H, H. Letter H, sound H, 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 word, oh, sorry. Хорошо, which means, okay, well, хорошо. Stress is here, so we pronounce хорошо, not хорошо. Don't forget about this. Хорошо, хорошо. Х, consonant, voice, voiceless, sorry. Voiceless consonant. Хорошо, хорошо. So, here we had all our consonants, voiced and voiceless. And uh, we have also two, two more letters. Hot sign, soft sign. It's not consonant, it's not vowel. Those are just signs and you remember so uh, and the next is I told you at the beginning consonants can be hard and soft how to know if the consonants hard or soft actually which position by the consonants can be soft the consonant is soft if we have after so I will write you not to forget the consonant is soft if if we have ya you ye yo e or soft sign after if we have these letters after the consonant so the consonant is going to be soft. And uh, let's have a look at some examples to understand what I mean. So let's compare two words. Look and look. We have two in, in both letters, in both words. Look, look. Here we pronounce it hard because we have O look but after this l we have letter u so u makes the previous consonant soft and we it's not a look it's a look look l, l, look 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 yes yes we have yeah after that's why it's soft Loss. After S we have soft sign. So here we it was S, here S. Loss. Loss. Cane. Cane shuttle. 
Chen. Yeah after T makes it soft Ch. Soft sign after N make it soft also, make soft Ny. So we have Chen. Chen. Both consonants are soft. Chen. Mama. Mama. And Nasa. Nasa. Sorry, this is ya. Nasa. We pronounce R because we don't have stress. Mama and Nasa. M and this is M. Mama, ma, 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 ma. Nasa. Na, na, na. Nasa. Mama, Nasa. Ding, day, ding. We have ye after the and soft sign after n. Ding. And two more words just to see this. Yaya, which means uncle. Yaya, yaya, yaya. And aunt is. Chocha. Ch, because we have yo and ya after t. Chocha. Chocha. So these are hard and soft. And now some rules about pronunciation of Russian consonants. And I am going to tell you again, and I said I told already in the previous video, uh, rules not to make our life harder. But to make it for you, I think if we use these rules, we just pronounce more natural. Uh, so, the first, I will write your example and explain. So, we had the word dub, dub. B is voiced, but when we pronounce it, it may be hard to pronounce at the very end of the word, really soft, like dub. So, Usually we should pronounce like it's pair, voice, voiceless pair, so it's voiceless pair is P. So it will be something between B and P, let's say dup, dup. It's easier even to pronounce than dub, dup, dup. Uh, bog, bog, so the pair of it K, that will be K, here we don't have P. Just, I mean the sound. Dup, bok. So, at the end of the word, voiced consonant becomes unvoiced. The next rule is, uh, if we have, like, again, I will write you an example. Skaska. We have two consonants together. The first one is voiced and the next one is voiceless. And it's hard to pronounce them like they are like skazka. It's more natural to say skazka. It's because this voiced, voiceless consonant influences the previous, previous one and makes it also voiceless. So we have its pair here, not z, but its pair is s, voiceless pair, s. So we pronounce it skazka, skazka. And the same in word football. Football. T and B. B is voiced. It influences the previous consonant and we makes it voiced also. So it will be not, we don't pronounce it football, but football. So it's close, it's closer to D. So it's like Football, t, d, let's say something in between. Football, football, skaska, skaska, and there are more words like this. But again, if you practice your reading and you will see these words, it will just come natural. Examine, we say examine, though we spell examine, but it's much easier to say examine. Anecdot, anecdot, g. So we spell anek dot. So I think it's enough of this. Uh, next rule. 
um, it's the third, yeah, the third, I think. Um, a lot of foreigners are confused when they see long words and especially if there are some consonants one after another, so здравствуй, высотовый. So I'm sure it's hard to pronounce all of them like здравствуй. It's possible, but it's easier to say just здравствуй. So we drop this word, but when we write, we cannot just forget about it. We need to write здравствуйте, but we pronounce здравствуйте. Uh, the same with the word Sonce. Sonce. We don't pronounce L. We just say Sonce. But we have to spell Solnce. Sonce, which means sun. The sun is shining. Sonce. Sonce. Uh, another examples. Another examples. For example, honor is chest. Chest. Honor is chest. Let's create a, an adjective. Adjective. So we have the root of this word. We add one suffix and we add an ending. Chest name. And here we have certain. We cannot just forget about this because we had this in the word, in the noun, chest. That's why we spell it chest knee. But when we pronounce, we just drop this t. So it will be pronounced, it should be pronounced chest knee. Not chest knee, but chest knee. But when we write, we shouldn't forget about t. Chest, chest knee. So when we have certain, we drop t. One more word, maybe it's a nice word, it means happiness, but it's hard to write it, so... Oh, my pencil doesn't want to write. Счастье. Счастье. So, the first two we pronounce together. It's easier to pronounce like ш. We have one letter. Ш. Ш. Счастье. Счастье. Счастье, happiness. And again, we create adjective, and it's going to be it's going to be счастливый. So, as it was the root, so we still have this t, and we create adjective. So we have these three together. Sutler. Счастливый. But when we pronounce, we drop. Счастливый. Счастливый. Счастье. Счастливый. So when we have сытен, we drop the middle. We have just сытен. Сытен. We just drop the and we have сытен. Счастливый. Счастливый. So as you can see, these rules are really just makes our life easier, our pronunciation easier. So we don't need to pronounce all those consonants. Счастливый. Uh, one more. Star, star in Russian is звезда. Звезда. So we also practice reading with you and try to memorize all these consonants. Звезда. We have zd. Звезда. And we will create adjective. Adjective will be звездный. So we still have the D, but we have also N, which we needed for creating adjective. Zvyozny, Zdn, we just drop this D, we just drop it, and it will be Zvyozny in pronunciation. Zvezda, Zvyozny, but when we write, we will make write dictations with you, so you need to know Zvyozny, we need to write with D, because Zvezda. Счастливый, we need to write with T, счастливый, because it's счастье. So, here we go. And these were the most important rules and just some more 
to remember for you. Word što. Što means what. So we don't pronounce it što. We pronounce it što. I will write you in English. Što. So sh, sh, these two. Što. Just remember this. Don't ask why. Just remember. Što. It's not što. It's spelled što, but pronounced što. Što. What is this? Što это? Что это? What are you doing? Что ты делаешь? Что? And another thing I wanted to write you. We're almost done with all this, so don't worry. Uh, его. Его. We have, we spell его. Also. У него. У него. And some others. I will not write all words, but very many words when they have go at the end, they, this go pronounced like во. Его, у него, его, у него. And I think that it what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, его, у него. So, this is all you need to know. Sure, it doesn't mean that there are no rules about consonants, about also vowels. There are more. But this, uh, I mean, the rules I wrote you, these are the most important uh, you need to be able to read correct, pronounce correct. And if you are going to learn maybe some university, you are going to be linguist, so you need to know more, something more. And also you will learn some more, but in future. So for now it's uh, enough. And also, I remind you that you can find all information in my blog. And uh, I hope you will learn it, you will check it and learn. And uh, leave your comments below. It will be interesting for me to see what you think about my videos and what would you like to, to maybe to add. So what I can do more for you. So please leave a comment, uh, subscribe and stay with me. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.